Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader, and it's Monday night, December the 27th. These are the charts of the day. Quite a few stocks still looking pretty good, and some are actually accelerating. One, one example, AIG, which broke out of this long, long multi-month base here, accelerated to uh, the secondary resistance and backed off for a day, and then popped through today up 505, 9.3% at 17 million. If you scroll in, you'll see that that's the uh, among the heaviest volume we've seen this this month, but certainly up there with the uh, with these solid days uh, earlier this month. Now, what it says to me is if you look at the daily chart uh, and go back, you'll see that the next resistance zone doesn't come in until the 80s, actually the 90s or higher. But I'm looking for a move that extends this beyond the, the uh, 60 range. 61 was my short term target. We reached that today. Secondary target now close to 70 and the longer term target in the 85 90 zone. AVL. Avalon Rare Metals among the hot rare earth group would jump 30% or $1.35 today. This recently listed stock uh, jumped across key resistance on very heavy volume of 4.8 million shares. And uh, it's probably headed higher. My short term target, six and three quarters, six and a half, three quarters anyway, and secondary target up around eight. <coughs> BPAX, <coughs> excuse me, uh, broke out with abandon today, jumping 42 cents or 26.5% on nearly 10 and a half million shares. You'll see that that broke out of a base pattern that had developed over the last several months following the downtrend that occurred uh, earlier in the year. Right now I'm looking for a, a move that takes this um, uh, beyond the today's high 217. If that occurs, I'll move to 250 initially and then three would be secondary target. Chelsea Therapeutics has been doing very well of late. You can see this three month base was broken with a price volume surge and a breakaway gap. Now we got a little bit of a rising flag going on here. Strong technicals. Looks like the stock wants to go higher. If we examine long-term charts, you'll see that the uh, 09 high was just taken out today, and that's a key. But there is we're right at resistance up in the zone, key resistance that, if broken, could lead to a very substantial move as it's multi-year and all-time high resistance. So uh, let's see if Chelsea can break through that uh, short-term resistance up around the $8 range, eight ten, and that should lead to higher prices, nine and a half, three quarters. My next target beyond that, 11 and a half. Dara Biosciences had a huge day today, jumping $1.78 or 84%, 663,000 shares. This thinly traded stock exploded through key resistance, as you can see this line that I've drawn in right here. Um, closed just above it or right at it. So we can see if, if we get an extension, this stock could be explosive. It could move to initially my next target around five and a half, secondary target seven and a half. Denison wanted to point out Denison to you because of the uh, bull flag that it's in. Beautiful rising channel, and this flag has very orderly. Look at the volume dissipate. Technicals flatten out. Looks like it's headed for higher levels. It's trading target four and a half. FTEK, fantastic day today, jump, jumping from under nine to. $10 closing at the high for the day going away on 509,000 shares. That's the second heaviest volume we've had since June. And um, you can see the rising channel that was very orderly is now accelerated to the upside. Short term target about 11, 11 and a half should be reached short uh, you know, over the next few days. Beyond that, looking for something in the mid teens. <clears throat> GTI also in a very con similar configuration with a rising channel, but it broke out here in November consolidated health support broke out again and now formed a beautiful wedge um, and then uh, on low volume the pullback has occurred so I expect to see a, a breakout in the test up towards the 22 and a half 22 and three quarter level our short-term trading target GU Gushan environmental um, had a big breakaway gap and price surge today to jumping a dollar fifty or 39 percent with key overhead resistance around six and a half going back a ways um, I'm going to set that as a trading target so if we can reach bat, that and get through it, eight and a half would be the next target. Inimmune, after this huge price breakaway gap on positive, very positive drug news and FDA approval, etc., the stock has pulled back, formed a little bit of a wedge, has pulled to the side and formed a tight little ascending wedge that should reach the high 40s, my trading target. I'm looking for about a 10 point run in the stock once it breaks out. Watch for it. MCP. Outstanding relative strength and strong movement going on here from 27 to 49 and just in the last that's 22 points just in the last three weeks. And yet um, the stock has more enough momentum for me to get this into the 
mid to high 50s i think and that's my trading target around 55 57. <clears throat> magnum hunter big day today after announcing an acquisition of ngas the stock initially pulled back and then spiked up from 624 to 750 only to back off to 720 but still upset 49 cents on 4.3 million shares big volume today stock looks like it wants to go higher long-term target remains potentially in the mid-teens but with a short-term target around the nine and a half ten zone up next is nabby bioscience biopharmaceutical excuse me nice base over the last eight or nine months potentially broken today you can see the stock moved up through that line close above it up only 4.4 percent but volume picked up and if we can get a follow through tomorrow i would see the stock move towards the test the march high around 640 45 area beyond that my target seven and a half and it's on that, along that same thing with the uh, rare earth stocks re which had been consolidating very nicely after this big run-up um, made a took a price volume surge today jumped to the heaviest volume traded since uh, September October and um, closed right at resistance uh, up, with, up about 15 and a half percent 9.2 million shares the heaviest volume uh, as I said a couple of months now I'm expecting a retest at the 14 level that's just double top in October if that's taken out look for something in the high teens around 17. Rep Ross Therapeutics RPRX two back-to-back -back big days first closing right at initial resistance today testing secondary resistance around four and a half area although it did back off a full point and still up 94 cents or 36 and a half percent 22 million share traded or just about just under 22 million heaviest volume in the company's history as far as I can see and in any case I'm looking for more upside if we can get through that four and a half level watch that one because there is where it gets explosive and can run up into the high single digits at some point another rare earth company that's been doing well of late China Shenzhou <clears throat> after this beautiful pop in October and two month or six week coil it broke out again in December backed off resistance and formed a nice flag and today popping 42 cents for 10 percent as volume increases and technical surge I got a feeling this stock is headed higher I'm looking for around six and a half three quarters my next trading target on China Shenzhou Sigma is doing very well and it continues to act like it wants to go higher platforming in here today reversing from 1357 to over 14 closing right there uh, up on the day and uh, maybe headed for my initial trading target around 15 three quarters secondary target 17 and a half I believe we get to both of those Salix SLXP um, <clears throat> acting very well particularly the last six weeks the stock has moved from 35 to 48 but more importantly up another dollar 17 to new all-time highs today the way this looks I have a targeted number around the low to mid 50s for Salix SLXP Swire big price volume surge up a dollar 38 today on 532,000 shares of second heaviest volume in about six seven weeks um, only negative is it's at the top of the short-term channel if it does not penetrate I could see a pullback retest but if it does accelerate my short-term trading target as we designated today as a swing trade is 17. <clears throat> And lastly, today is Zixi, Z I X I, which popped 26 cents or 6%. More importantly, it may have come out of this two and a half week coil. There is some resistance around four and a half, but my next trading target is five and then six. So that's my levels for Zixi. And that's about it for tonight. Have a good evening.